Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the new direct link between Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade. Before I go ahead and do that, I want to give a big shout out to Steve Cutney, who created the new Retooled intro. I wanted to thank Steve a lot for that. He put in a lot of hard work and effort to make that awesome intro. So hopefully that'll set the tone for the next round of videos, and we'll keep featuring Steve's amazing work. Now back to the topic at hand. I want to go ahead and show you guys how direct link between Premiere Pro and Speed grade works so I want to show you guys two sets of clips here I have my little fictitious timeline and on these first three clips I want to start by applying some looks in Premiere and on the second three clips I'm just going to show you how it works if you're starting directly in speed grade so when I say I'm going to apply some looks in Premiere I want to emphasize that I'm going to use some Lumetri engine presets so I'm going to use our color retooled presets and I'll just pick a few random ones so for this first clip I'll pick this cool shadow warm highlight and then maybe I'll throw a vignette on there you can see those two effects are combining together and then on this one I'm gonna just pick a different effect let's go with cool crush and then on the last one here I'll just do something nice and simple and I'll go with darker 20% so I have my three looks applied to these clips and on these last three we'll just start in speed grade and I could show you how it works both ways but I also want to give you one of the limitations of the way this works. So if I go over to file, direct link to Adobe speed grade, hit yes to send it over to speed grade. That'll close the project out in Premiere and bring me over to speed grade. If I hit play you'll see my look has been applied to all three of these clips and I can start tweaking them. And on these last three clips, of course, I haven't done anything, so no big deal there. Now, the thing I wanna show you is that when I combine two effects in Premiere, that's actually not gonna work with the new Direct Link Engine. So it all looks fine in here until I turn my primary effect on and off, and then all of a sudden it's only the vignette, and I no longer have the cool shadow warm highlight. So let me show you a way around this. Instead of stacking your effects in Premiere, which you can still do if you don't want to tweak them in speed grade, but if you actually want to be able to tweak them in speed grade, let me show you how that's done. I'm just going to hit this button, which is going to send it back to Premiere. Hit yes, and now it's going to open my project back up in Premiere. So you can see this time I can only see the vignette on there. So if I go, it still seems like both effects are on there, but for whatever reason, I'm only seeing the vignette because that is the Lumetri effect closest to the bottom of my effect stack. So I'll delete the cool shadow warm highlight effect, and there is my vignette. And the way I'm going to get around this limitation is to use an adjustment layer. So if I just stack that right on top of my layer, and I just trim it to the length of my clip, I can then come over here and I'll throw that same effect on it, the cool shadow, warm highlight, and I think it was this first one here. And now what I'll do is go to File, Direct Link to Adobe Speed Grade, hit Yes. And now I'm over in Speed Grade and you'll notice I have the adjustment layer and that effect is fully editable. And you can see exactly how it was made and of course you could tweak it. So for instance, if I want a little bit less of that warmth in the gain or the highlight section, I could just come in here and turn that down and I'll have my effect fully adjusted. And then the same thing goes for the vignette. So let's say I don't like the shape of my mask. I could come into my mask over here and say, let's start with a round mask this time. And then I'll just go ahead and feather that out a bit more and scale it up a bit. And now what I'll do is come on over and return it to Premiere. And now with the project back open in Premiere, you can see I now have a round vignette and I have my cool shadow warm highlight where the highlight is just a bit less warm. So it's fully able to edit it. It's just stacking that you have to be careful of if you want to edit it in speed grade. Now these clips, because I didn't stack them, that would have been fine. So let me show you how that works. If I go back to speed grade, direct link to speed grade, hit yes. That'll open my Premiere project over in speed grade. And if I come on over, click on one of these clips, you can see all the effects of how this was made. There's the bloom, the primary, and then there's the auto color match. So I could come in and I can tweak different aspects of this, and I could come in and change the primary. For instance, this clip 
is a bit dark. So let's make it brighter overall. And I'm also going to come on over to the shadows. Well, that's a bit too much. And I'm going to make them a hair brighter. And if I come back to Premiere, and I mouse over that clip, you'll see my effect has been tweaked. So let me show you how it works if I just want to start in speed grade. On the last three clips, for instance, I'm going to go back to speed grade. And now with my timeline open in speed grade, it's really simple. I could just come in and I can use some presets. So here's some of the looks that are included with speed grade. So I could double click on that and I could apply that effect to this first clip. And on this second clip, I'm just going to do something crazy to make sure it's really clear to you guys. And then I'll come on over to the last clip and I'll pick another preset and then I'll come in and do another slightly crazy color correction just so you guys can see that as well. And then I'll just return it over to Premiere. And now if I go to these last three clips, you'll notice this one has that black and white preset. This one has that crazy color correct I did. And then this one has the combination of the preset and of the primary effect I did. So just to reiterate, if I do the adjustments in speed grade, I can stack as many things as I like, and they will come through in one Lumetri effect here. If I want to stack in Premiere multiple Lumetri presets, I have to use adjustment layers if I want to be able to tweak them in speed grade. So that's the thing I just wanted to explain to you guys to make it clear how to work with presets like Color Retooled. And of course, please check out Color Retooled. I'll have a little bit at the end of this video showing you guys how Color Retooled works. So I hope you enjoy this new direct link relationship between SpeedGrade and Premiere Pro. I think you'll find it's really quick and a great way to work without having to render every time you wanna make tweaks. Be sure to check out our new product, Color Retooled, which is a set of looks presets for Premiere Pro CC. A ton of easy presets that you can use in Premiere and SpeedGrade CC to quickly edit the look of your clips. Everything from brightness and contrast to vintage effects to things like vignettes that editors can quickly add to their clips and keep working. Also check out Relink Retooled, our conform tool for Premiere and Final Cut that will let you conform to your QuickTime media of different durations and file names than your original media. You can use it with combinations of tape name, file name, and of course you can use partial tape name and file name combined with metadata like time code and frame rate to help you relink your clips quicker and easier than ever before.